What's up guys, it's Jason, this is Justin, and now this is your Four Doors of Death. And the question we had today is, is Smile worth watching? Yes. <laughs> wow. Let yes. me tell you about Smile. Jesus. Well, we just watched this movie, right? It just finally got released. It depends when you're watching this. I don't know. You may see it yeah. in the theater, or you may saw it on Paramount Plus, but it just came out. And it's basically, it's like... It follows meets the ring. Meets the ring. Oh, very yeah. good. I yeah. That's yeah. very good, actually. So, um, and which we like. So basically, you follow a a lady that uh, witnesses a suicide, and we come to find out anybody who witnesses a suicide gets the smile demon put inside them. I don't know how that happens. <laughs> Maybe we didn't see that's the extended cut. Um, and and basically, um, it just keeps following. So when that person kills himself, and if you're happening to watch it, walking by, hey, how you doing? And you just kill yourself? Shit, now I have it the follows. smile demon again, or right. whatever, right? <laughs> and eventually, you, the, the premise of the movie is they have to break the chain, right? right. So it is kind of it follows. Very it follows. And sure. you said the ring? The ring. I, I like think it's like a little bit of a mashup between the two. I do like that. You know? So uh, let's get straight into our four doors of death, man. All right. You want to lead off? I'll open up door number one okay. first. Uh, the first thing I loved about this movie was the sound design of this movie. Oh. So right off the bat, I thought the uh, the sound uh, for this guy's first attempt at a film, by the way, uh, mm. Huckleberry Finn, his first crack at a film. He's done two shorts. Uh, his name's Parker Finn, but Huckleberry, said, right? Huckleberry's just as good. Huckleberry, uh, uh, Parker why. Finn, uh, his first crack in a movie. So I think the editing might have been a little choppy, so they used that massive sound. A little bit of the score, but a lot of it was very heavy bass, pummeling bass yeah. to lead you segues and transition from scene to scene. So a lot of those jump scares, yeah. I think, were really well earned in this movie. I think okay. they, were, uh, they were building to something, a great tension. Yeah. So uh, Well, okay, then I want to segue into uh, using the sound, ooh, into door number two which is prepare yourself many jump scares are coming right Fine. and look you know if you know if you watch this and you know what I think I'm like you better make me earn my jump scare right and they did they did on most of them <laughs> But when you have jump scares of like me opening a cat food or <laughs> uh, you know dropping, I mean, come on, man! There is jump scares through the fucking roof on this thing. There is. So be ready for that. All right? Every five minutes. Uh, huh? Every five minutes. I want to say. It's basically yeah. that. I guess we. I should have actually looked up how many jump scares there, but there is a lot, and they happen every turn of the corner. So just be ready for that. But it does have one of the. I would say probably my top five jump scares of all time with the lady coming to the door and her head kind of whipping down I in the know. car. But I they, wish they didn't give us that in the trailer. They man. screwed that up. They gave it they to did. us in the trailer, so I knew it was coming. If I didn't know that was coming, forget about it. I've been done. I would have right. died. So, all right, what's your door three? Door number three, back to Huckleberry Finn, man. Uh, Parker Finn. Parker Finn. Um, Parker did Poor it in a, for his first film, man. He shot this movie incredibly well. Okay? Yes. Those upside down angles that he would transfer back into the regular shot, like they looked phenomenal. And yeah. also, he casted this movie incredibly well. So Kevin Bacon's daughter. I knew I film. liked her. Is in this film, and that's of Fucking course. Fucking shout out to Tremors, man. Of course, Jason, being a big <laughs> Tremors fan that he is, he knew something about this yeah. movie was making him very happy. And it is his daughter who plays an exceptional role in this film. I want to see she's on screen pretty much the whole movie. Yeah, and she commands your attention, and she does a great job delivering a pretty solid uh, performance. Killer job, yeah. killer job. And you're right, and this thing is shot phenomenally well. And I'm not like a big artsy guy, blah blah blah, but it looked really good. I right. really liked it, man. Yeah. So door four is I finally found a movie. That really shows me what's it like to be crazy. Now, I know a lot of you think I'm already crazy, and that's bullshit. But anyway, this is a really rad attempt at showing somebody what it's like to have a mental health problem, right? So, this lady, right, um, Kevin Bacon's daughter, Kevin Bacon's daughter. Uh, was literally the most sane person I've ever met. My, you know, you've ever seen on the screen, right? Has her shit together? Yeah, yeah. psychologist, uh, criminal, or whatever she does, right? Yeah. Uh, and within 10 hours, she was literally clinically insane. Right, yeah. and you see the process, and you always wonder if someone come if someone came up to you and started seeing me, people were smiling at me, and then they kill themselves, and you're just like, "What are you talking about?" Right, you right. would actually think they're crazy, and this is this film for the first time out of all my horror movie watching, um, which is. 49 years that's a lot by the way um this is the first time i've actually seen this and it actually it, it stuck to me so good job smile man very Great good job, job. so there's your four doors of death on smile now we have to rate this thing rate this film baby. yeah what are you doing i'm gonna give this film a 7.5 frown faces out of 10 Ooh. i think huckleberry's first attempt was a great one and i'm looking forward this to see what guy. this guy does more he man. makes one fucking movie you can't get his name right <laughs> hey, man. Year, parker finn in 2022 a year of a lot of duds yeah this guy brought a little glimmer of hope so. yeah i agree i'm giving it a Seven out of uh, seven shitting grins uh, out of shitting <laughs> out of ten. Um, 
I was going in this thing, I'm going to give it a three or four. I honestly, and it, yeah. it won me over. So good movie. Guys, 100%, go watch this thing. And then, you know, once again, put a smile on a horror lover's face. There you go. Four Doors of Death.